Well, good morning, and uh, welcome to the last day of January already, and welcome to Morning Gospel Fuel with Mr. G. Uh, it is Sunday, January 31st, the feast day of St. John Bosco, also known as Don Bosco, and uh, he is the patron saint of school children, young people, and juvenile delinquents. And that was actually the name of the school that I, I did some service work uh, two summers ago over in Kenya, which was a, a remarkable experience with that. So St. John Bosco is, is near and dear to my heart. So I'm actually going to read from his page today because that's a good page. Given my past experience as a teacher, anyway, let's get back to this. We got the gospel first. Today's gospel is from Mark chapter 1, verses 21 through 28. Let's begin in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Then they came to Capernaum, and on the Sabbath he entered the synagogue and taught. The people were astonished at his teaching, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. In their synagogue was a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Quiet, come out of him. The unclean spirit convulsed him and with a loud cry came out of him. All were amazed and asked one another, What is this, a new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits and they obey him. His fame spread everywhere throughout the whole region of Galilee. Okay, wow, yeah. The cure of a demoniac. He just, he just drove a demon out of a person, just like it was just another day, you know. A lot of these things, you know, I just wonder if Jesus, I'm just probably too prideful of a person, but if, if I feel like if, if I, like, if I was Jesus, I feel like I'd be like brushing my shoulders off and be like, ha, how do you like them apples? And just, I'd be really hard for me not to get a big ego of my, so that's, that's why Jesus is such a great model to follow. Anyway, this gospel, um, maybe one of the challenges is work on my humility, uh, and then maybe you as well. Uh, but uh, this gospel was actually read, the exact same gospel, gospel I believe, on Tuesday, January 12th. Um, so if you want to see a direct reflection on this specific Bible, feel free to zoom back and go to my January 12th video. Otherwise, I'm going to read the page, as I had mentioned earlier, from this book, because it is on St. John the Bosco. Um, and it relates to me pretty well, given that experience in Africa, um, as well as dreams that we all might have, and also my experience as a, as a teacher, um, specifically with you know the boys that I always had a deep heart for um, at school. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to read this page. It'll go straight to the challenge, and you'll enjoy the rest of your Sunday. That's the plan. Anyway, so today's page is on St. John Bosco, and the theme of it is dreams. We are all familiar with dreams that occur during periods of deep, restful sleep. There is also another kind of dream, prophetic dreams. Unlike the dreams experienced during sleep, prophetic dreams come from God outlining the future and showing us our hopes, aspirations, and goals. St. John Bosco was a prophetic dreamer. At the age of nine, he had a vision of Mary showing him his vocation as a priestly leader of poor boys. Throughout the rest of his life, he was guided by his dreams. In fact, later in life, he sometimes discerned the state of the souls of the boys at his schools through dreams. Often he dreamed of new projects and missionary work, and even though he seldom had the funds, he began, to, he began the work, trusting that God would provide. God always did provide. At the end of his life, Father Bosco, or Don Bosco as he was called, had founded the Salesians, now one of the largest religious orders of the world. Although our dreams may never be as prophetic as Don Bosco's, all dreams come with a message. When we pay attention to our dreams, we gain insight into our deepest desires and aspirations. Our dreams can help us figure out who we are and what we want. They enable us to wake up to our potential and help us to Help us determine our direction in life. All we have to do is pay attention. 
and the questions for reflection. Do I remember my dreams? Have I ever had a dream which seemed to be a particular, which seemed to be particularly prophetic? And what did I do about that dream? I will pay attention to my dreams. Have a great day. God bless and keep it real.